it's Christy welcome back to my channel boy I am so excited about today's video because I am finally bringing you our hello bluebird new release this has been a while in coming but it was absolutely worth the way these stamp sets are so adorable we've got nine new stamp sets with coordinating dies and um, five standalone dies so you guys are gonna love this stuff I think I've actually got lots of card samples for you so um, I'm gonna dive into everything and show you what all I've got here this is the entire new release that I'll be sharing with you today and it will be releasing today as this video goes live it will be Monday July 10th the release will happen at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my time zone. So take a look at this video. Make your shopping list up. We've got a free stamp set with purchase. Um, it's just going to be amazing. So I'm going to take everything and set it off to the side, and we'll go through things one by one. All right, so the first stamp set that I'm going to share with you guys is the Bear Family stamp set. You've got these little baby bears with their parents, and it is so super adorable. And I will apologize in advance. I am going to hold my fingers over some of the images at all times because I just cannot stand the fact that the counterfeiters are um, taking snapshots of videos and stealing designs and that can really kill a small stamp company like Hello Bluebird and lots of others very quickly so I do not want to support the counterfeiters so I will not be um, you know just showing the stamp set as it is but hopefully you guys can still see and make out how much cuteness are in these stamp sets so like I said this is the bear family stamp set it does have coordinating dies which I have already packaged in my little stamp pocket with my label so as soon as this video is over I will remove the stamp sets from the original packaging and stick them in here I have a whole video on that if you're interested on how I store my stamps with their matching dies but anyway I do have a card with this one so here is my card featuring this adorable stamp set it also features one of our brand new standalone dies as well as a sentiment from the Bear Family stamp set that I just stamped in a strip and um, heat embossed and then trimmed that down into two little pieces there. Um, this also features some of our older dies. We've got the grassy knoll die here that I use for the grass and the basic borders is this little scalloped print here. Um, but I thought this one turned out super sweet and I've been wanting a set that is with mom and baby animals for a while. So this is going to be great for like Mother's Day cards, Father's Day cards, new baby, um, adoption, all, all kinds of different um, occasions and also just like friendship and every day as well. So I just think this one is super adorable. And um, yeah, so that's number one. And next up we have our new set Little Hugs. This is very similar to the Bear family in the fact that we've got little adult animals with their babies, which I think is so, so sweet. I actually did come up with an idea for a card for this one, but I did not get a chance to make it yet. So stay tuned, that will most likely be coming on my channel later this month or possibly into next month because I have a lot of card videos to share with you guys in the upcoming weeks. But we've got a squirrel, bunny, hedgehog, fox, and bear, and I think these are so adorable. We have some great sentiments and that beautiful script and some little hearts. And then there are the matching dies as well. Super, super cute. Again, that one is going to be so good for all of those occasions like I mentioned, plus plenty more. Next up is actually going to be our free with purchase stamp set, and that one is going to be Sweet Strawberries. So we've got these um, solid stamps that you can, if you're not someone that's really into coloring, this is going to be a great set for you. Um, but even if you are, this is one of those stamps where you layer up the different inks, and you've got the different little textures to add. You've got different leaves, and the little caps, and the flowers, and then you've also got some adorable little 
mice and a caterpillar. Super, super sweet and a great sentiment for my sweet friend. That's a really nice size sentiment as well. So to get this one free, there will be a code on the Hello Bluebird blog. So definitely check that out and make sure to make a note of it as you make your little shopping list. I don't know what the code is yet because I'm actually filming this on Sunday. So the code will be in the blog post for Monday, July 10th, which is tomorrow. So check out what that is. You want to enter that. And then as long as you spend $100, this stamp set will be free. And it does have matching dies. So the dies are not free. If you want to grab those, make sure to add those to your cart. But um, yeah, I think this one is super darling. I did not get a chance to play with this one yet, but I'm very excited to do so. I'm totally into strawberries right now. I um, recently painted a strawberry mug at work, and that one was for work, so I'm currently working on one that is for myself, for my own personal use at home, and I just have been loving all the strawberry things lately, including actual strawberries. Um, so next up in that theme, we've got the new strawberry patch, which has so many little sweet mice. We've got this gorgeous little strawberry design here, so you can have it kind of hanging over them. We've got a few great sentiments. You're the very best. I pick you every time and for my sweet friend just for you. Um, lots, lots, lots of cute things here. I'm so excited about this one. And I did create a card with this. So there is my card. This is also using our previously released Gallery Frame 2, which is my absolute number one favorite die of all time. I just love this die so much. Um, and then it also features another one of our standalone dies, part of it. So I'll show you that when I get to the die portion of the video. But um, yeah, I am so in love with this stamp set. And um, this video will be coming up soon on my channel. Um, I think this is going to be actually the first video that you will see. So this one should be up this Friday. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are as excited about strawberry stuff as I am because I am just all about that right now. Um, all right, next we have some fun gardening stamp sets. First one is the vegetable garden. So we've got all of these cute critters and they are tending to their gardens. We've got carrots, cabbages, tomatoes. I love this image here with the tomatoes. I think that's so much fun. And some of the girls on the design team have gotten so creative with these sets. Um, somebody created like a frame around their scene by putting a bunch of these together in rows. It was so cute. Um, another girl did like a whole vegetable frame on like an oval shaped focal panel. So cute. So if you haven't been checking out the blog posts on the Hello Bluebird blog, definitely go do that and see all the inspiration from the rest of the design team. I'm telling you, these girls are so freaking talented and they have been knocking this release out of the park. But I am really, really happy about this set. You guys know I love tending to my garden. I have just a little container garden, two of them, and I love tending to it. So I was so excited about this one. I did, of course, get the matching dies. And then along with that, we've got another gardening stamp set. And this one is the vegetable market. So we've got more cute critters with their little veggies, some great sentiments. This one has a lot of punny sentiments. You are unbeatable. Let us celebrate. I care it about you rooting for you. You are radishing. So if you are into puns like me, you're going to love this one. And I do have a card um, that I created with this one. Um, I think this one turned out so colorful. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And this one also features another one of our standalone dies, as well as one of the sentiments from this stamp set. So this is another video that will be coming up soon on my channel. So stay tuned for that. And then we've got um, another stamp set. I mean, if you twisted my arm and forced me to pick, this one might be my favorite. Um, this one is called Bloom and Happy, and we've got so many adorable critters. And I just adore 
adore their expressions. They are just like in an absolute state of bliss. Look at the face on that bunny right there. Isn't that like about the cutest image you've ever seen in your entire life? And the squirrel as well. I mean, oh my gosh, those beautiful big mushrooms are going to set the scene for so many different things. Great sentiments. This one is chock full of sentiments. So this is going to go for so many different occasions. And of course, I did pick up the matching dies. I did not get to make a card with this one yet, but I do have an idea already stamped out and waiting. So I just need the time to get to it. So hopefully soon. But um, this is one I can see making so many cards with because I absolutely am in love with it. Um, I think this one and the strawberry one that I already made a card with might be tied for my top favorites from this set, this release. But honestly, it's so hard to pick because I just love every single set. So um, next up is going to be one I think you guys are going to go crazy for. Um, I know a lot of you out there are cat lovers. So we've got the very super sweet Nine Lives stamp set. This one is so adorable. Um, you know, I'm a dog person, but I do love cats. I just happen to be unfortunately allergic, but I love making cat cards because I have so many friends who love cats and they are so much fun to color. There's just so many different colors and patterns and uh, patches and stripes and, you know, polka dots and I mean, anything you want to do. They are so much fun and I love, love, love this little mouse image as well. I do have a card that I created with this one um, using three different cats and then I used our nesting circle dies to cut out the little holes and added a little accessory image into each one. So this is another video that will be coming up soon on my channel. Um, but I, I just love this one and I think a lot of you guys are going to go crazy for this one because I know I do have a lot of cat lovers on this channel that always comment when I do cat videos. So. This one I think is going to be um, a big seller on there. So if you're planning to get it, make sure to get on there quickly. Um, although I'm sure that it won't sell out right away. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but I wouldn't wait around too long. All right, next up, we have another one of my personal favorites. This one is called Jungle King, and we've got some great lions and also some really great little scene setting images. We've got some really nice trees, rocks, grasses, um, really tall grasses, a little crown and more great sentiments. And actually, I'm going to show you guys, I used one of the images from this stamp set for an older card. When I created this card not that long ago, I actually had been wishing that I had a crown to place on the lion, as I mentioned in that video. Um, I wanted it to be the lion's birthday, and his friends are kind of coming to his party. We've got the elephant holding up the cupcake, and, you know, the tiger is just there for... Um, you know, to show his support. And then we've got the It's Your Day Go Wild. This is all Hello Bluebird um, dies and stamps. So um, this one has the um, Gallery Frame 2, which is my favorite die again. And then we've got the Jane Small Alpha dies. And then these were from the Jungle Littles set. Um, so Love, love, love how this one turned out, but as soon as I saw the crown in this stamp set, I quickly stamped that out and added it to this card, even though the video has already been up now for a while, um, but it was just the perfect thing to finish off this card because I had really wanted a crown for him. I just thought, he's the king of the jungle and it's his birthday, he should have a crown. So I was really, really happy to have that image. And then I also did create a card with this stamp set. I went with more neutral colors for this one, especially with the background, a little bit more of a muted watercolor wash in the background. And then, of course, we have the adorable lions. And this is our decal for, um, let's see, decal A2, nesting decal A2 dies that has this beautiful decal edge. And then, of course, everything else is from the um, Jungle King stamp set. So really, really fun 
set. I really, really love this one. I don't know why I have a thing for lions. I just think they make the perfect masculine cards, but also just cards in general. So next up, I'm going to show you guys the standalone dies. That was all of our nine stamp sets for this release. And our first die set is going to be the berry basket. So we've got this beautiful basket to put all of your strawberries in and then all of these great strawberry dies. Um, I have been blown away by the cards that the girls have made with this on the design team. This was not one of my assigned projects, so I did not get to use this one yet, but the cards that I've seen coming out with this set have made me so inspired. I can't wait to play with this one. It's so super fun. You have got to go look up the cards that have been made with this. I'm telling you, you're just going to be blown away. Um, so super, super fun. I love the size and shape of this berry basket. I just think it's phenomenal, and I think it would work for so many other things as well. Um, I just can't wait to start coming up ide with ideas for that. And then we also have a seam die. For those of you who love the seam dies, the seam dies make it so nice and easy to make quick backgrounds for your images. So we have a slimline. This is the safari scene. So this will go great with your Jungle King stamp set if you're picking that one up or any of the previous released jungle sets. We've got the Jungle Littles and... Um, I can't think off the top of my head what the other jungle sets are, but we have several. So this is going to go great with any of those. Um, I have not had a chance to use this one yet, but again, the, the cards that I've seen with it are just fabulous. So cannot wait to play with that one. Going along with that, we also have the safari tree. So you have two big trees and then some extra leaf patches that you can add to them or layer over top. Um, I think this is going to be a really fun one to use as well. And then um, last up, the last two I have together on one sheet. So we have the sweet friend word die that, that comes with these two parts right here and then the just for you word die which comes with this two part these two parts right here i haven't used the layering part yet for this one but we have similar die sets with different words like this and i have used them in the past and i it, i really really love having that option so those are really fun so the cards that i use these on let me see if i can go back um, let's see. So the just for you, I used it on this card here and I used only the you on this card here because it is a separate piece there. Um, it, it die cuts the you part separate. So it's really easy to use for different things and you goes with so many things. So, uh, you know, happy birthday to you. Um, you are great, uh, just so many things. And then the sweet part from the sweet friend I used on the bear card. So I haven't used the friend part yet, but I'm excited to play with that one as well. But anyway, um, I tried to use them on a couple different cards in a couple different ways just to give you guys ideas of what these dies can look like. And again, I know I keep saying this, but it's because I really mean it. Like, go check out the blog posts because, who I just sometimes I feel like <laughs> I don't I don't know how I ever got so lucky to be on a team with so many talented people. It's just crazy. Um, the girls on there just blow me away every single time. They are such phenomenal uh, card makers. It's just outstanding to me. So anyway, that is our Hello Bluebird new release. Like I said, it is going to be live tonight at, um, let's see, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in my time zone, um, you can go on Google and figure it out if you're on the West Coast. But anyway... I really hope you guys are excited about these products because I have so many videos coming. And like I said, I have so many more ideas that I've already figured out and have stamped and ready to go. And uh, I just need the time to sit there and create them because um, 
you know, I can only do so much at once, but uh, yeah, I have just been having a blast playing with these stamp sets. And it's so much fun to have products to play with that you're so excited to craft with. Um, I think that just sometimes, especially for somebody like me, if you're if you're anywhere similar where you just make so many cards that you can kind of get burnt out, I find that having new supplies to play with that I'm really excited about can really um, stave off that burnout. It really just helps me push through when I have things that I'm just so excited to create with. So hopefully you guys found something here that you are excited to play with too. Um, I will have a link to the shop down below. I don't have links to the individual products yet because like I said, I'm filming this the day before the release goes live so they aren't on the shop yet for me to grab links. But I will link to the shop and um, that will take you there and then um, later on once I'm able to, I can probably grab the links for anybody watching this video after the fact. But anyway, um, the shop, you know, the link below will take you to the shop where the new release is. So, um, yeah, make your list and check them twice. And make sure to get that code for the free set um, if you plan to purchase $100 or more because you don't want to miss out on that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. I'm so happy to have you here. And uh, I'll see you soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.